Dexter season three. Fan of Dexter? You know I've not watched Dexter, Dexter, Laurie. You know I've not. Don't try and put me on the spot and ask me, am I a fan of Dexter? I've never seen it, and you know that. Well, who's fault? It's my... I'm not going to say it's not my fault, but you... Well, why not? You've tried to... You've tried to set me up there, mate. I... Listen, I you've not it. seen everything I've seen. <laughs> you've <laughs> you've well. not seen everything I've seen, mate. I will watch it. Is it on Netflix? No. no. That's what I'm, I'm sure it will. It. It'll be on a streaming. If it's going to come back. Is it on Amazon Prime? Yeah, but you have to pay for it per season. It's like 11 quid per season. It's crazy. What? <clears throat> yeah. You can't stream it? No. When did Which it finish? I thought it finished time ago. Yeah, it did. You have to uh, pay for it. Yeah. It's nah, good. Nah. It's really good. No, nah, but bro, if you, if, if you don't have to pay for Breaking Bad, you shouldn't have to pay for fucking Dexter. You know, am I right? <laughs> am I right? Of course I'm right. I keep saying that a lot. Sometimes <laughs> I'm not right. That's why I talk. I just walk around the house. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Nah, yeah, I'm mate. Right. It's joking. Just, but every single time it ends with, of course I'm right. One day I'm going to be wrong and it's going to get awkward. <laughs> but no one's going to be around to say it. So in that moment, I'm still going to be right. Chin Chinny. Chin Chinny. Happy Friday. Happy folks. bank holiday weekend. Happy bank holiday weekend. Hey, we've got a heat wave on the way. You believe that for a second? For how am long? I right? <laughs> am I right? Of course I'm right. Feels, I'm right. <laughs> Feels good though, it does. It does. Uh, for how long's the heat wave? I don't know. I want to say for the majority of next week, but I mean, it's a UK heat wave, so what? So, a little bit of less wind less and wind. rain? Yeah. The problem is you, UK heat wave's like sticky. It's, it's quite sticky. So, are we talking nice weather or just sticky for a week? I don't want to be sticky hot. That's not nice. That's uncomfortable. Mm. Just dead horrible heat. Yeah. With no breeze. Could reach 30 degrees. I mean, whoop de do, But is it whoop de do if it's, if, it's, if it's too bloody hot? I don't know. I'm just looking forward to it. I just want to it to be nice sun. and sunny. I've got you. It's been raining every been day raining. for the ra- past three years. Maze, it's not. Am That's, I right? <laughs> you, am I right? Of course I'm right. <laughs> but see what I mean? Sometimes you'll be wrong. No, yeah. it hasn't. But May, this has been, in recent memory, the most wet, the, the, the wettest May I can yes. remember. Absolutely. May is usually banging weather. Mm. Yeah, it's been pretty poor. So, yeah, good riddance to May this year, I've got mm. to say. If your birthday's in May and you're listening, you, you probably had a shit one, yeah. and that's that's not my issue. So, better look next year. Um, but June? Could be in for a good June, folks. Could be in for a good June. Is it? Yeah. Bro, when was it officially summer? Oh, summer, summer. Are we when still you in spring? Summer? That was bad. Oh. <laughs> that, that was cannabis kind of involved. Uh, <laughs> we don't. Whoa, we summer, whoa. Uh, summer. When was the summer? I want to say '69, but I think that's the song. Um, when does it start? Are we still start? in spring? I think. I think summer starts in July. No way, Lawrence. July, August. No, 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 that's no, right. No, that's it's June. <laughs> that's a lie. You've lied to me, and you, you are you happy with yourself? I can't you say I'm yourself? not happy with themselves, Great. but I'm I'm not happy with myself. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be happy with myself. Don't I'm don't stop. googling the seasons. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should have been taught this. Woo! Uh, I mean, Lawrence, you could have just put when it's summer. Yeah, you could have typed yeah. it when it's summer. You're not you're not helping anyone. <laughs> oh yeah. You are nothing but a pretty face. Oh, that's interesting. Well, Monday the 21st of June. Why is that interesting, bro? What so, happened? closer oh. to July than June. Am I right? Oh. <laughs> also, 21st of June is when the world opens back up. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. That is crazy. 21st of June, baby. Till the twi- See, this is what annoys me. I've never ever looked at September as being summertime. Which is really weird. I have not. You know when people went away at the start of September, I used to think, you're really strange. Why are you going away in September? Yeah. But it makes bloody sense yeah. now. Wednesday the 22nd of September I officially ends. Almost all of September's summer. I, I don't care what that. people say. Summer ends in yeah, the last six me. weeks of holidays yeah. in school. Yeah. That's when so, it ends. Yeah. September 4th. Back to school. Yeah. Miserable. 
Mm. Oh, I remember that first week of school, going back to school. That was horrible, wasn't it? Was it, though, Lawrence? Uh, for me, it was like no, the first two days were like exciting exactly. and whatever, but then after that, it's like, oh, it's just back to school again. Oh, we can't go out. We can't no, I was ice opposite, cream. Mate. I was opposite. Really? I was buzzing for school, mate. You know me, though. I loved mm, school. Yeah. I loved school, man. Especially mm. that, Lawrence, that summer from like year eight into year nine, mm. and then I would say 10 going into 11. Because mm. I knew it was my last year. And obviously, technically, we were over at Dove, the lower site. For those of you that don't know, that was Dove, that was Trent site. Year 7 to 9 were on Dove, year 10 and 11 and 6 form were on Trent. So year 8 to 9 for me felt like, oh, it's like my last year. We were leaving. It was like a big deal for me. It was like, oh, we're no longer kids. We're going up to yeah. bi- bigger, big, up, school. Up, big school, upper site. So that summer holidays from 8 to 9 for me was like... Crazy. Oh, I wouldn't have missed Dove. <laughs> I wouldn't have missed Dove, man. Yeah. I love Dove. I really do. I think uh, the, how do I word it? The school in terms of like the facility, mm. I prefer Dove to Trent. Why? I just preferred the set out, the hall, the canteen, the tennis courts, yeah, the, the field. I just, I thought, thought it, yeah. it, it was better. It felt bigger to me. Obviously, I know it was bigger because obviously there's three years there, but I just feel like, mm. well, that's another contributing factor because I spent more time at Dove. Leaving was, mm. it was shit. Like it were, it, yeah, I, I, um. See, I prefer Trent more. For what? I know we have the sports hall, which was obviously. I think it's because that's where, I think going up to that bigger school, I really found myself. Um, in what sense? Uh, I really got to know me. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. I was trying to be serious. Come on. What do you mean no, you got to know me? I think I did prefer it because that, mainly because of the sports hall. That was like top yeah, quality no, sports hall. Yeah, that was to be fair. Yeah, we did. In Trent, what was it called? What was it called, the sports yeah, hall? Yeah, sports hall, bro. Yeah. No, mate, I'd agree there. PE was a lot better. Yeah. But I feel like the teachers were better as well. But saying that, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Man, we had some sick. I feel like Dove was a bit of a blur to me. I, I feel like really, yeah. I don't know why. I, I didn't know I was dyslexic then, so I was like in a completely wrong English class. I was just all over the shop. Mm. I didn't. I didn't really know what I wanted to do in terms of subjects. I didn't have a massive amount of friends at Dove, so I was like, I don't know where mm. I am or what I'm doing. I just now got to work. I got to walk to school a lot further. True. What was? <clears throat> what do you remember about your first day in year seven? Do you remember anything like specifically anything happening? A song, a food, a teacher. Um, I remember getting lost. Really, it was like massive a school, lot. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a big job. And I remember it? I printed out my um, mm. timetable. <laughs> Because we all got, didn't we all get a timetable of some sort? Yes. But then after, I think after like a day, I lost mine. Yeah. But I had, I don't, mm. obviously I hadn't taken a picture of it, but mm. I must have written it down somewhere in terms of what I'm doing. Or I must have mm. figured out from the teachers what I'm supposed to do. And then I, <laughs> and then I drew it out. No, I think I put it on the computer, I printed it out and I laminated it. <laughs> Oh, so you were like, <laughs> you were guy. a freak from young, you know? Yeah. You, were weird, yeah. you were weird from young. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought that came like yeah. year, year 11, year 12. Yeah. Okay. And then I got really embarrassed that I'd laminated it. So I scru- <laughs> scrunched it up loads of times to make it look like normal paper. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I remember getting lost one time. And then uh, I think it was someone really high up. I don't think it was Mr. O'Hare, but the head teacher, but it must have been someone high up. And they, I was getting really stressed. And they. Mm. Pointing me in the right direction, but I remember the food carts. Yes. Like with the uh, big ass wedge pizza. Mm. What was that all about? That was just a massive loaf of bread with cheese and tomato. It weren't, <laughs> they weren't great, pizza, was no. it? And they would cost a good pound, good pound, one yeah. pound ten. Yeah. And the it bacon twist. They weren't great. Oh, God. Do you not like I think about worse. Now. Really? No. Nah. Oh, I used to. Because you got a thing. They I've were like been gold in some Oh, people, no, 100 percent Still <laughs> now. I saw it. a post the other day that said, oh, I'd kill for a bacon twist. <laughs> Make it. You're in a, you're an adult. <laughs> you're, you're 30 years old. What are you what are You're 32. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'd kill for a bacon twist. 
do for a bacon twist? Fucking <laughs> come on. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Like, mate, when I see shit like that, I uh, do not understand. It's like, there's nothing, there's no school dinner I think back to. And I say, oh, I've not had that in years. I'd kill for it. God. It's a muffin. I can go to the shop and get a muffin. Like, just yeah. make it, you win. Turkey dinosaurs. Yeah, nah, man. <laughs> but, um, yeah, school, school food, man. I think that's, that was crazy. That was crazy for me. Mm. I think the first day going up from year six to year seven, because obviously my brother had already, he was in year seven, Noel was, and he just used to rave about the food. He said, oh man, the food was so different. You get a cheese, bacon, fucking bean baguette for like 150 <laughs> yeah. and oh, so like, much yeah. variety of puddings. <laughs> and he just used to rave about the food. And I was yeah. like, oh God. Do you know what I mean? I was yeah. still in bloody like junior Probably. school, <laughs> yeah. and chocolate shortcake and mint custard, which is banging. Oh, but I, I, I needed the cannot do mint custard. What? No. Why? I never like that. Serious? I don't know why. You I don't know like why either. Dessert. You like everything. No, it's just weird to me. Why? why? A bit, but do you like mint based I think, stuff? I feel like, like I had it when I was. I feel like I had it when it was cold once, and it just put me off. That doesn't make sense. Like <laughs> mint custard. Mm. You don't like it. I probably do now. You've got to. We're going to have it. Because I, I've probably not had it that. Just looked, in them days, years. it just looked like someone sneezed on a short break. Probably, probably someone probably did, Lawrence. That's fair. But we're at school. <laughs> like, let's face it. We're at school. Yeah, like, we had to eat it. <laughs> we're not yeah. cooking for the, royal, they sneezed, the royals. They sneezed, <laughs> yeah, this is what I mean. So, yeah. No, my worst day at school was it was it was quiche day. That was always day. an awful. I hate quiche. <laughs> Do you really? I hate quiche. You still hate I feel quiche. like you're going to have to make me a quiche uh, and I'm going to have to see if I like it now I'm older. Oh, but I do a nice salmon and chili quiche. I, that already sounds mouth <laughs> But back in the day, I weren't a quiche guy. Yeah. And I used to go in thinking, oh, it's a mini pizza. <laughs> no, it's no. quiche. That's really bite thought. into it. That's really <laughs> <laughs> You can oh, imagine oh, me. Oh, that. Oh, <laughs> I immediately die. Oh, I, imme oh, I immediately oh, die. <laughs> They're, they're trying to kill me. They're trying to kill me. <laughs> Under my buttons. Uh, oh, I immediately died. I used to hate it. Oh, I can't imagine how bad the quiche would have been. Bro, the quiche, yeah, I know. And that's another thing, mate. It's not only I didn't like quiche, but this did, did look appetizing. No. The state of it. It looked horrible. <laughs> like the word, what, what's in quiche? Quiche is Cheese. Like, it's like a... It's got mash in it. No, no. It's like a... Um, it's like a what? Well, it's mainly like an... Egg, egg, in egg it. mixture mixed with other things like peppers. And yeah, and then it's got like a layer of cheese on top. I don't think top. I ever had it at school. Yeah, cheese on top. Yeah. And pastry on the bottom. Yeah, that's why I always used to think it was pizza. And I, was, I got closer <laughs> and I was like, fucking Keith, <laughs> <egg."> <laughs> 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 no. I'm waiting in this queue. Yeah, you, you can imagine me, mate. Yeah. Nine the whole of the lunch, you're just waiting in the queue, waiting in the queue. <laughs> Last person. <laughs> Who wants quiche? <laughs> And they used to try and sell it to me. <laughs> I don't want that. They were the worst things. Quiche for mates, and then you move on to puddings, and they had something like a spotted dick, and you just thought, <laughs> you, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. With you today. can't put spotted I, dick I, I, on, a, on a children's menu. It's shocking. Come on, I laugh at that now. Yeah, it's bad. Spotted dick. Yeah, it's not good. Did isn't, no it, isn't it just like treacle sponge, but raisins? It's something well. like that, but it was just... <laughs> It worked for me. That worked. That 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 was not a good day for me. Yeah. And then, God knows what drink they had. Just mm. watery, bloody, horrible. Over. They used to make squash that you could tell was ninety five percent water yeah. and a little bit of bloody juice in it. So yeah. that was an awful day for me at school. Those oh, yeah, days, those little like straw, pop oh, straw. Oh, horrible. horrible, 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 horrible. Yeah, they were really bad days. Which is why, mate. When I got to the end of junior school in year six, my, I don't know if my parents even know this, but I was awful for going in to eat. Mm. I used to stay on the, because obviously it worked when a dinner ladies like rang the bell, they shouted out your number in it. You yeah. had to come and queue up. But I don't know if it was like that at William Shrewsbury, mm. but you had to, to shout out I, your class. I don't class. think I ever had hot dinners throughout the whole of school. Really? You always had sandwiches? Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I always had dinners, man. So I used to always miss them because he used to ring out the number of my class and, and I used to carry on playing football. Yeah. And then it was really bad because they obviously mort you off yeah. for like if you've come. Yeah. So they used to come and get me like my next lesson or right at the end and be like, Jacob, you have to come and eat something. Yeah. And so there were, it was always like only like 
baked sandwiches left, like yeah. ready-made oh, sandwiches yeah. and a drink. Yeah. Which I didn't, it's just like a standard like cheese sandwich. Yeah. And I always just, I, honestly, mate, I must have done that for weeks on end because I just couldn't be honest. I was yeah. like, I'm out here playing football. Yeah. It would take like 10 to 15 minutes away of my break. Yeah. And literally, ever I'd watch all my mates go, come back, go, come yeah. back, go, come back. <laughs> the only time I ever went in is when you my, scored ten uh, yeah. goals by then. Oh, it was great! <laughs> that was great. I was always top goal scorer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Of course, I'm right. Come on. Right. But um, yeah, I was bad for that, mate. But I was, to be fair, mate, I wasn't far off doing that for even when I went up. When we went to the Ferris, I was the same. I, I loved playing football. I just loved break time. I mm. didn't. Like food was the third, like last thing on my mind. If I ever got out late of class before yeah. dinner time, I would sometimes just avoid the canteen. Like, I can't be bothered. Mm. That's why I was so happy when they started doing like the wraps and the pasta, like yeah. near the yard and in the atrium, because I know I could get it on the way. Right. But queuing up in like it's just 15, 20 minutes for what? Mm. Some dead ass pizza <laughs> and a muffin that's been dry <laughs> fucking sat there for three days just spot a day <laughs> no, come on oh, that's what that's nightmare for you all that is that's terrible <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what? So, okay, I never asked you this did you have to make your own packed lunch at a certain age uh yeah yeah probably when I was about a Trent yeah yeah what did you do did you use the you use the good quality uh, shit or was it still very just yeah I'm just gonna make a fucking oh I never really liked sandwiches so it was always, I had to be something else. What did you, I can't even remember. <laughs> That's bad. I don't want you fucking parents to hear this. <laughs> what? I was just about to say, I can't remember you eating. <laughs> cool. I can't really remember what I had. I, I can remember, remember you eating crap. Yeah. Like chocolate yeah, like bars. Chocolate bars and biscuits. <laughs> Three or four chocolate because bars. Because we always had, we always had fruit crisps and a biscuit in the house. We always had something like that. Yeah. And then I was like, responsible for making the main part of it whether it be pasta or yeah i don't know chicken or whatever yeah. like chopped up or whatever but most of the time i just couldn't be bothered to do that and i'd just take the apple biscuit and whatever and then just eat when i get in early but yeah i can't remember too much about it it feels like such a blur school does it does I, i'd love to do it again but i'd love to do yeah. it now yeah <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. at this age i've said I everyone would, yeah in the year, i would go back now, now for it for a year <laughs> yeah and Could just, you imagine? Yeah, I'll be mad. But I don't know what subjects we'd do because of what you do now. I'd you do wouldn't. You wouldn't different. sit through science. I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck off! I'm not doing science. I'm not doing it. Yeah. I've not used it. I'm not doing. <laughs> so you're not getting me to do science. It's yeah. not happening. I, would, I just wouldn't do it. So things like geography, things <laughs> like <laughs> PSAG, like oh my god, you just think, oh no, I can't do it. I think you go back for a week and then you just realise, nah, I'm really just not at that mm. age anymore. But again, I'd go back just for lunch times, just to mess about in the field and that. I'm never too old for that. That'd be brilliant. <laughs> I suppose we can do that now, though, really. <laughs> true. <laughs> Very true. Go back for a game around. <laughs> yeah. That would be A1. Yeah. Now, it's a weird one, mate. It's a weird one, what you remember. What oh, you remember, select foods. I was thinking to myself the other day, mate, what did I used to hate food wise that like I've got older and I like I now eat. Mayo's one. That you eat now? Yeah, I didn't used to like mayo, mate. Oh, at really? all. No, I just I used really. to be like ketchup and Yeah, just, I never really liked well, that. Everything else, mate, to be honest, apart from yeah. fucking mayo. I just didn't Yeah. Like it seemed like really fatty, didn't yeah. it? Still, no, it's not my first choice. Unless like, it's got like like that Pyrenees from Nando's, that's amazing. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah unless yeah, it's yeah, something yeah, a little yeah. bit different, mayo. No. I wouldn't just go and buy Holman's mayo. No, no but now no. I like, yeah, I'll think about it as an option for like, oh yeah, that's gonna go better with mayo and stuff, mm. or uh, garlic mayo. Mm. Lots of other things. The one sweet potato. Steak. I don't think I used to like <laughs> sweet potato really, because mm. it's a oh, different yeah. taste, isn't it? It's a different taste. Yeah, I think true. growing up, you obviously, you're just used to chips. Yeah, sweet potato. Every Fair. place, yeah, every place I go now, I'm just like, yeah, have you got that? Have you got it in sweet potato? No. Okay. Cool. Any quiche? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my friend, bro. I'm <laughs> gonna try quiche. quiche. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna you. make your quiche. I'm telling you, mate. It'll be a game changer. Mum makes a lovely quiche. I can imagine it. What does she put in it? She does, hence the recipe: salmon and chili. Yes. Or she does tuna and chili. Or yes. she does bacon. Like little bacon bits. Mm. It's good. 
That's fantastic. Mm. She'll always do, that's like a party dish for her. Mm. She'll always do a salmon and chili quiche or she'll do a bacon and chili quiche. Absolutely. What sides do you have with a quiche? I feel like it comes with a side salad. a little bit of salad, yeah. yeah a little bit of garnish. A little bit yeah, garnish. I wouldn't ever, wouldn't ever make a quiche, you know what I mean, for dinner. I wouldn't ever have a quiche for a dinner. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> If you're listening and you have a quiche for dinner, <laughs> you, you are insane. You are the weirdest person. According to Lawrence, yeah. you're the weirdest person in the world. No, that's just weird. Who, who would have Yeah, to be fair, I don't know anyone, yeah. anyone that even... the people Because it's just keep. solid carbs, isn't it? It is a pure yeah, party it's a food. It's just carbs, it's a filler. You can't it's make it lot. tasty, but it's a lot. you don't need it. Come on. Put down the quiche. Yeah. But there's a lot of meals, mate. Do you not feel like people have? And I'm a bit like, do people really have that for dinner? The giant Yorkshire pudding, mate, <laughs> filled with... Wait, I don't, I don't know how What's many that? white family parties you've been to, but there is Talk something wrong with our culture Talk when it to comes me. to buffets. Why? Something horribly, Why? horribly wrong. Why? Name me... Okay, I'll game for you. Name me five things that's I always going to be on a buffet. In the majority of white people's Christian... Not Christian. Christian. Chris, yeah. Christening. Christenings. Yeah. yeah. They will have the following buffet. Just give me five. Guaranteed, you know. It's Mini on quiches. There. <laughs> Come uh, on. And, and, and this and this is, Lauren, and this is everyone. This is not homemade. This is bought. Iceland. Right. I don't know. But Iceland car, wherever it's all the, no, you can't get this you can't get good quality <laughs> bought party food like this. Mini quiches. Yeah. Uh, cocktail sausages. Yeah, oh yeah, no, like I agree with that. Ones. Yeah, I agree with that. You like them? No, I agree that they're just oh, they're there. Just, they're just every, every single every family, family function I've been to. Scotch yeah. eggs. Oh, good shout. Pork pie. <laughs> I hate pork pies. And, I hate and for some ungodly <laughs> known do reason, it. don't do there's it. There's always don't do skewers, it. like <laughs> tiny little skewers. <laughs> yeah, with a little pickled onion, a little pickled like pickled onion ball. Pineapple slice, like pineapple cube, and cheese. You know how, breath, you know how bad your breath's going to smell after eating that? You know what? That's an awful fight. Onion, pineapple, yeah. and cheese. That's awful. That's how an awful combination. That? I don't know. But out of those five things, mate, because I don't... I don't know how many of those things I like, I would eat. I mean, I've never liked pork pie, ever. I don't. I don't understand... I don't understand the pork pie. I don't get why people. I do like pork pie, but no, not unless it's like a I really don't good. Get it though. Good one. I don't. But to me, bro, that it's always cold, and they just look lumpy and just oh, it's just a massive piece of pork in in some in some god awful pastry. I just I just no sausage rolls. Yeah, sausage rolls are a given. I used to f of a sausage roll. I'm not gonna hate on a sausage roll. I used to f of a Bolivans. sausage roll. No. I don't get it. No. Look at that. It's not so, great. They're just sausages. Why on do the they stick? always serve the worst crisps it's in the world? Yeah. Why is it always yeah, awful plain, crisp? Plain Give me some big Doritos. But like, cut the roof of your mouth. Oh, just always awful crisps. Oh, man. And bad. the sandwiches were always awful. Mm. Yeah, the sandwiches Mix got it up. Filling. Mix it up a little Look bit with that. the filling. It's just beige. That's terrible. It's all beige. That's terrible. Mini little chicken. Yeah, it's like, I would never, like, fair yeah, enough, it's good. food. You're there to entertain. You're yeah. going to get, you know, certain events. No, I get it's it. expensive yeah, to feed no, people. It is, but. But I'd rather have less. Level. Have I'm a little sure. bit of, like, yeah, 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 pasta. Yeah, yeah. Like, like well, you mum does. just about to say. Jerk chicken yes. pasta. Something like that. Yes. It's cheap, yeah. and it fills you up. I agree. And you don't have to do all this pastry and carbs. and. I agree. I do. It's crazy. It's almost moment, mate, and people get into just sort of a mode of, right, dinner party mode, this is the food we need to have, and they can't buy anything else. everything, so. No. Give me some chicken and stuffing sandwiches. I'd be game for that. I like chicken and stuffing sandwiches. A little bit of cranberry sauce. That'd be fantastic. I would eat that. But serving what? You're going to what? I want egg salad. I want egg, sa- I've, oh, I've egg come salad here. sandwiches. I've come here to eat egg salad sandwiches. You think that's what you think of me? Huh? What is it? Tuna and cress? Tuna and cress. How plain is that? Tuna and cress. <sighs> no, it's not there egg is no flavour. Egg mayonnaise, isn't it? Is it? It's not egg salad. It's egg mayonnaise. Egg mayonnaise, yeah. yeah. Egg mayonnaise, tuna and cress, cheese and onion, cheese and tomato. That's, that's not going to get what? Go I'm on. not going to tell people I've Go had a good on. time at that party. No. I don't know. What about drinks, Lawrence? What buffet drinks are always there? Mm, we don't really have drinks. 
Oh, you might get the odd like homemade. Mm. It used to be a bottle of chaleur, or, like or a bottle of chaleur on the table. I think mm. bottle of chaleur. No, I'm not too sure about that. I don't know. Just like what started that off, or like Branston pickle and cheese. Mm. Like all, all these sandwiches could just be. Mm. Well, this like is you're using all good ingredients, and then you just putting them in bread. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. I don't know why that is. <clears throat> I think it started off back in the day, though. I'm sure it's supposed to be like a sophisticated thing, isn't it? That's why I don't get when people go for afternoon tea. Mm. Doesn't really appeal. I would go with my mum, mm. but I could never. I never woke up yeah. and feel like I know what you mean. Oh, I'd love an afternoon tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd love. I'd love some I, tiny little sandwiches. I'd love some cake. Tiny, some little cake. <laughs> so just love it. Just love no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Some tea, some tea, some cake, some cake, some cake. Twinies, twinies, I want it smaller, twinies. smaller, smaller, smaller. <laughs> bro, I'm I'm just, do you know what I mean? I feel like I've never, that's not a craving of mine. And when I see people go and they're just sat there, there's no atmosphere. I, I kind of get like, if you're going to, oh, I, don't I don't know, Harrods or, you know, somewhere pretty swanky mm. that's like, you're just there to be bosh and snobby and whatever, like. Yeah, but you would not. Oh, but I, again, I wouldn't no. do it. Yeah, no. I get why people do it, but I wouldn't do it myself. Yeah, no, it's not for me. I get. I will take my mum, but apart from my mum, I can't see myself going for afternoon no. tea. I'm sorry, I can't see. If there's anyone listening that wants to go to afternoon tea with me, and you're not my mum, it ain't happening. So uh, I would there is suggest a whole list of people. <laughs> right, I would. Wait. <laughs> I know I've just broke some hearts, but. That is what I do. But it's why I love my sister's wedding. Ooh. You never did, supposed uh, to be about the food at your sister's wedding. Oh, it's incredible. I can't really remember what we had, obviously. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just like, it was all local, like tapas kind of food. So it was just, I mean, not nothing like, and it was all like family fee sort of stuff. So you just sort of dig in. But, so, yeah. Oh, sound well, that also brings me to like something like <coughs> Carvery. Carvery. I don't. I don't know. I know. I say it's an unpopular opinion, probably yeah. for the UK. But Talk to me. Never once been interested in Carvery. It's a bit weird. Not when you've had a home cooked Sunday dinner. Nah. It can't be appetising to go to a Carvery. Yeah, yeah. Unless it's like yeah. really top. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? Like these places that are yeah. like two for yeah, one, yeah, sizzling, yeah, yeah, that yeah, do carvery. Your Toby Carvery, like, your and cherry then, tree. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Not, and don't get me wrong, it's not that the food isn't, oh, it's cool. Like, it's, oh, it's edible and stuff. But but it's, it's not, I know what you mean, it's not blow your socks off. When yeah. people say that I hate it, my most, one of, one of the most annoying things on the internet, and I think I've actually unfollowed people before, and you're not going to think that's petty, don't judge me or judge me, I don't care. When people say I'm really craving a roast dinner, and then two hours later, you see them upload the dinner, and you, and, and they put like no more, you're more something. Mm. And I think I look at the plate. And I think that's what you've been craving. That's that's what that's two what hours ago you were like, oh my god, I can't wait till my roast dinner is ready. Mm. And I'm looking at the plate, Lawrence. Okay. Two slices of dried, non-seasoned chicken. <laughs> Three roast potatoes that you know there aren't besses. They're yeah. not freshly. They're not, they're not freshly yeah. roasted. There aren't besses. Yeah. Stuffing. No sausage and stuffing. No, just just you, a blob of stuff. Just you know what I mean. Yeah. They've not gone groovy with it. They've not gone groovy with it. The gravy, you know, is just bog standard gravy yeah, they've not added anything yeah. to it they're not trying to make it thicker mm. just bog standard gravy <laughs> you've got vegetables on there that look like they've not been made or put on the plate with any love whatsoever <laughs> yeah. and then to top it off on some of them you'll just see a random plop of like white bloody horseradish or something like just that. to plop it bread off sauce or as if that or... oh i've got around me bread sauce you've not oh, you've not got with your bread sauce, I hate bread sauce. But it's like they put it on to just finish it off uh, let me tell you something <laughs> bread should not have a sauce agree you should not be able to make a sauce out Agreed. of bread if you are adding bread to your sauce you're doing it wrong yes if you're making a sauce and adding bread you're yes. doing it wrong if you're eating bread 
your demon get no, Brad's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Brad is fine. I mean, it's a bit yeah. heavy on the carbs, but it's yeah, bread sauce ain't the one. And I'm mate. not. Uh, people say, oh, you're a snob or whatever, food snob, but I just no, no. You got to no. appreciate what you're no. cooking with, no, because seasoning is not expensive. No. Spices so. are not no. expensive. Jeez, yeah. You can go and buy a mixed herb spice. You can yeah. go and buy a mixed, yeah. you know, like yeah. spicy spice yeah. from the shop. Yeah, for like less than a pound, yeah. and that that lasts you a whole month. Just do it. Yeah. And mean? what's frightening to me, and I think that's why when I see certain people's foods, mate, and then when, like, you know, I've, we're at a family function or we're at an event and my mum's cooking, they ask so many questions because they're not used to seeing food with colour. Yeah. <laughs> they're not used to seeing food yeah. that's got, oh, what's on that? That looks, what's on it that? looks seasoned. Yeah. That's how meat should look. It looks, yeah. it's just got seasoning on it. That's it. It's yeah. exactly what you eat, but it's seasoned. So mm. you're gonna, it's gonna taste good. Mm. Because the first thing's always, how spicy is it? Yeah. People think seasoning is spice. 100%. Is it? And you know how worrying this is? I, I want to come back to your mum's business later because yeah. we've got some interesting news about that. But um, I was doing some research early into like uh, Caribbean food experiences and every single one was like, um, oh, I said something like disclaimer, some of our food is seasoned is seasoned or spi- might be a little bit spicy. Yeah. But we can do alternative versions for you if you wish oh it's like god. imagine going to something like that paying oh to an event and god. be like it's too spicy oh god but i i, I also just I, I don't know i don't i just don't get people who aren't food is how can you not be interested in food you eat every you day have to, you have to eat every day two, as well maybe three yeah. times a day yeah and they're just like whatever it is oh don't care like you'd know in it if you were sitting there though and you have chicken and rice yeah bog standard just chicken yeah. and rice yeah. with no seasoning People say they eat that, bro, and they're just like, yeah, cool, yeah, chicken and rice. You didn't. No. You didn't. You had meat and... Fuck it. <laughs> I can't think of another alternative of what to call rice that carbs. isn't cooked. Yeah, you just had, that's it. Yeah. You had meat and carbs. You didn't have chicken and rice. It's, but mate, it's so frustrating. if you're not into cooking, I go and try and get that, but if you're not just generally invested into seasoning and spices and what you put on your food and how to, just generally how to make it better, why would you not want to... Do that. You I eat every day. It. I hate it. It's like when people go abroad. Again, mate, we've had these discussions. People going abroad and you're just having chain restaurants. Yeah. People going out of the, the place they're from and you're just having chain restaurants. That's it. Mate, you can have McDonald's back home. Why the hell are you? And that's why I was a bit annoyed at you, mate, when you told me you went bloody KFC in America. I couldn't believe it. I just had to try it. <laughs> I just had to try it. Lawrence, tell the people about that experience, mate. Tell them. We went a long, long way. <laughs> <laughs> out, out of New York as well. Yeah. Because it wasn't in central New York. There's only like one KFC and it was completely out of it. Yeah. I don't know what it was. I just, I don't know if I'd seen stuff, but I was like, I've really just got to try KFC in New York. I'm in America. Yeah. Like it's going to be unbelievably amazing. Yeah. And very different. And very different. Yeah. yeah you always see like. There's like sweet corn in the mash and it comes with gravy and yeah. like yeah. you have like chicken, gravy and mash mixed together. All the stuff you can have now in England, but it was ages ago. Obviously, I won't. Yeah. And um, yeah, we went ages and cut there. And it was like the most drab KFC I've ever been to ever. It was so miserable. Serious? It was like the staff were unbelievably miserable. It was dirty. It was... Like, I couldn't even find a seat to sit down because it was just, like, everything was just dirty and, like, there were puddles in the corner. Oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. Every, the food it. was cold. It was, I like... Can't. And, and it came with a... It came with the wrong <laughs> things that I didn't even ask for. It came with, like, a salad and rice or something. But it also came with what I wanted, which was, like, I wanted to try a biscuit. <laughs> Everyone in America is always on about... Always. ...with a biscuit. Yeah, two pieces with a biscuit. Oh, like, piece these biscuit. biscuits can't... Like, there must yeah. be something about them that are that yeah. good. Yeah. Talk to me. Just a dry scone. That's just it. a dry bloody scone. That's it. Honestly. That's like, it. Like not even like not even moist. Oh. It just like crumbles into <laughs> al- almost pastry. Yeah. Can't believe it. Absolutely gutted, but I learned my lesson. Again, we're it- going somewhere cool. Why the hell would you want to go to a chain? True. The amount of places, the amount of things that I could have experienced in Think that time. Think about what you wore past what to I get might to that have, Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, a lot. A lot. I can imagine. Yeah. No, but I get it. I do understand it, though. I do understand it. 
But at the same time, when you told me, I was like, no, like, for you, for a foodie. It was like, it was like, kind of like, have you ever been to like, um, like when we went to Amsterdam? Yeah. And we saw the McDonald's and it was like, mm-hmm. yeah, fair enough. We obviously wouldn't have gone to McDonald's, but it was yeah. like, oh, I wonder what they do there. Like different. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean, different like, places like hot have dogs different menus. Like yeah, so I've like, got you. Yeah, I've got you. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, though, we're all saying that. We went KFC, didn't we, in Amsterdam? Did we? Remember? No. Bro, think about it. <laughs> well, It'll come what? to you in a bit. Think about it. Yeah. Last night we were there. The last night we were the there? The last night we were there. I think it was just no. before I'd gone. We went to that shop and we brought. I brought that black Amsterdam top to put on underneath my jumper. Or it might have been... Yeah, it was just before or just after that. And then we went oh, to the get- yeah. Southstairs. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah, so we did actually... Oh, yeah. And it was exactly the same. The one yeah, in Amsterdam was, yeah, was no yeah. different. They did nothing different. But I suppose like... Oh, that's making me feel a bit sad. I know. Why did we do that? I don't know. We might have just been... I don't know why we did that. Hungry and poor. (laughs) Hungry and poor. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. But yeah, I remember it's just like... I think we had also spent the whole day walking around trying to get me a bloody coat. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Which could have been the reason I was also freezing my tits off. (laughs) Yeah. I think what happened with was we started the day fantastic by having truffles. Truffles. (laughs) And then we were just like, yeah, yeah, Chocolate yeah. truffles. Yeah, chocolate truffles. And then we were just like, we went out and we went to that pub and we had a drink and then we left there. And I don't know why I didn't run my coat out. I just had a jumper, a single jumper. And I was freezing. Mm. It got cold quick. And I was like, I've not got my jumper on. And I don't know why in that moment we just didn't walk back to the hotel and get my jumper. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it kind of makes sense, really. I think but, we yeah, we, we went to KFC we and walked bought around, a jumper. got cold and, you know, things happen. It is what it, it sounds is. a lot better than it was. <laughs> Guys, don't go Amsterdam. You will be cold. <laughs> <laughs> and you will keep KFC. <laughs> no, but that was, yeah. yeah. Listen, nothing's a bad idea when you're abroad. Nothing's no. a bad idea, but that was a bad idea. Well, yeah, it's weird, man. Chain places abroad. I couldn't imagine. It's like the people that aren't from England come England. The Americans come to England and like, yeah, I've got to try a UK McDonald's. I've got to try a UK Burger King. It's weird, isn't it? It's like, what are you hoping to get out of the experience? That it tastes... I always think, oh, it must taste different. And then I think, why would it Why would it taste different? It's a chain. That brought me back to a bad memory. Oh, no. I know. Uh, my next door neighbour had... Uh, family in Florida. Yeah. Um, so one summer we went, all the family all went to stay over in um, like a, an apartment in Florida with her. Mm-hmm. Um, went to like the Disney World and all that kind of stuff. And um, this one morning I woke up and we we're going to SeaWorld and we we're getting some breakfast on the way. Went to a McDonald's. Right. And I was probably about, probably about eight or nine, I reckon, at the time. And uh, I was feeling horrible. I was feeling absolutely awful. Mm. And I uh, got to this McDonald's and my mum was like, oh, you need to get something. You need to get something because we're going to the Sea World. We're not going to eat all day. The parks are expensive for food and stuff. So you need to get something. Mm. I was like, mum, I, I can't eat anything. I feel really, really ill. I think I've got a bug or something like that. Didn't take anything. She's like, nope, you're eating. We're not buying anything there. Ended up having something. Got to Sea World. Oh, no. Uh I think I went on a couple of rides, but I definitely wasn't feeling right. I was like white. And when I was younger, like if I was ever ill, I'd go like a, a ghost. <laughs> and um, <laughs> went in the uh, <sighs> wave pool. And uh, yeah, just pretty much uh, sicked up everywhere. I was really, really ill. <laughs> and That's my mum to this day always remembers that story. She's like, I knew you were ill. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry. I, like, well, I tried to tell you. <laughs> And now everybody's going to get out of the pool. <laughs> and Lawrence has not been swimming since. since. Lawrence has not been swimming <laughs> since that moment. Thank you, Sally. Yeah. Um, that's horrible. That's yeah, disgusting. Not good. Did you get chucked out? Uh, I don't know. I think I just got wrapped up in a towel. I can't even remember. That sounds that. horrible. <laughs> oh, no. Well, everyone was ill from that from that day. Everyone in our family got ill. Like, like well, One day there was some out of all of us yeah. that were ill. And then on the last day, yeah, the, the ne- our neighbours yeah. that had brought us over with them, um, mm. um, the couple that had t- taken us there mm. that we were ill on the plane, like really, really mm. ill on the plane. It's and got to be like, food poisoning. Yeah, I think it was something like got that. Got to yeah. be food poisoning, yeah. 100%. Food poisoning is scary. That's why I'm a bit wary about trying things away. 
like street food and yeah. stuff like that, like places like India and yeah. Well, mate, uh, when I went Thailand, <clears throat> yeah, they were cooking I mean. some of the. I didn't. I remember. I bet you saw some like. Bro, I, let me tell you. <laughs> it was one night. I think it was the night we all got dressed up and we did the shit shirt night. Yeah. I was drank a lot, obviously, mm. and I remember coming out of a club at about three o'clock in the morning, drunk out my mind, starving, and this. This girl, this Russian girl, was on the strip, and she had like a, a piece. She was eating like uh, meat, like on a on a on a stick. But she'd obviously got off one of the like the food carts. I mm. think I just like you know, I was talking to her. I went over like I felt like I took a bite of the chicken, mate. I went to the next club. Oh, fucking horrible! Really? I was. I went to the next club, mate. I was sat. That wasn't a drink though. It got, I couldn't have been, mate. That yeah. was the only time on holiday I thought I felt mm. sick. Like, yeah. oh my God, I'm going to throw up. Mm. You know that moment of like, yeah. oh my God, I'm going to throw up. Yeah. And so I was sat in the toilet, mate, fighting. Literally. <laughs> but I didn't throw up in the air, but I was sat in the toilet, mate, for probably, and this must have been at like stupid o'clock as well, like half three, four in the morning. Fighting with myself, mate. Mm. Like, oh my God, let me be sick. Oh, oh, just breathe, man. just breathe. I had my water in between my legs. I was like, oh, oh please let me see. Please let me see. Honestly, <laughs> that's all I can think about. In the end, I've, it passed somehow, but I felt horrible. <clears throat> and obviously, because I drank so much, but I generally think just that piece of Did chicken you see her again? just turned my... No, <laughs> no. Did not see her yeah. again. But obviously... Uh, because she worked out there, she, I'm assuming like, her stomach just room. got used to it. But honestly, mate, it must have been that because my stomach just took like such mm. a funny turn like oh no I'm in mm. trouble here and yeah I remember feeling horrible I didn't throw up the next morning so I think it must have been because obviously when you're drunk from alcohol and you need to throw up you throw up there's no mm. choice you just yeah. you throw up but I do feel like it had to be the chicken yeah. and that's why mate it did put me off because they did like they were doing like, like crepes and stuff like yeah. that and some of the stuff looked good but I just kept thinking it's not worth it. Oh, it's been raining today. Yeah. And I don't know yeah. who's... Do you, do you know what I mean? I know you shouldn't like, think like no, that, no, but it's like, no, oh, I don't... Well, the problem is you hear stories like that and you, you, yeah. you don't want to ruin your holiday that no. you spent no. your hard day money on. To, oh. Like, remember when uh, Julia down the road, she said yeah. that she went to New York with, yeah. with her uh, husband and yeah. he had one of the like pickles on a stick or like hot dog from a hot dog stand or something. Yeah. And he was ill for the whole of it. They went for like 10 days and he just did not come out of the room the whole time. That's awful. It's like, imagine going to New York and just not being oh. able to come out of your room because you're that ill. This is what I mean, man. From food. Yeah. It's like not worth yeah. it. It's oh, not, no. not worth it. I'd all. have been so scared as well if I if <laughs> I got ill in Thailand and mm. I'd have had to stay in that villa yeah. that was basically in the middle of a jungle on yeah. my own. Yeah. Nah, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Yeah. I would not have been able to have been, like, I couldn't have think, oh, no, that'd be awful. Just mm. ill, and you got uh, like geckos running on the ceiling, and <laughs> yeah. like there's a goat outside tied up to a tree. Oh, would have been awful. Like that would have been so scared. Side. Yeah, <laughs> and you're just surrounded by like locals, and you have no idea who's watching the place. Yeah, and, yeah, no. To be there alone in the big ass villa would have been awful. So yeah, mm. I think. But it's strange, mate, because that's from before that moment. I never thought about it before. I never thought about being abroad and. And getting food poisoning and it just ruining your, your whole, even food poisoning in general. I yeah. suppose, obviously, because I've always grown up and I've had food cooked by people that love food and are into food, mm. I've not really had to worry about, oh, God, like, is this yeah, meat going to be cooked? Right, yeah. But I think the problem yeah. is, I think one of the main problems is, like, there's no massive amount of regulation over there, like, in terms of, like, street food mm. and stuff like that. Like, you know, when you're at least going mm. into a takeaway or, even just like kebab shops in the UK, mm. you can see the food hygiene stickers mm. on the side, and you know, like, mm. okay, at least I've got mm. some sort of. Mm. I've got, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But just seeing it. But you see all these travel shows as well that make it look incredible to get all these like local yeah, delicacies and stuff like and that. Stuff, but yeah. the reality of it is, is yeah. they're being paid to be there. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. there on holiday and we don't want yeah. to risk it. True. <clears throat> no, it's. Um, I do want to go into it. India. I do want to try a lot of food in India. No, I'll make 100%. sure I go in off the. <laughs> for that eventuality to happen, but no, that'd be scary. It'd be scary if it were yeah. any holiday, I think. But again, it's I don't know, it's it's risk, isn't it? It's risk. It's risk. No risk, no reward. And exactly. if you love your food, then you're gonna have to do a lot of risk. Mm. Which is why every single time, bro, you say to me, "I'll oh, try this, try that." I just got no choice really, because I think mm, 
I could be missing the worst out. that can happen. Yeah, you know, worst can happen. Out. And spit. It, listen, it's not going to be worse than junior fucking school key <laughs> yeah. and, and spotted dicks. So yeah. I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> Bring it on. What's that squid? Yeah, chuck it over here. Yeah, I give it right. that squid. Yeah. What's that quiche? <laughs> nah. No, 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 quiche. I'm not over it. Yeah. <laughs> I am not over it. I'm at your quiche. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, listen, before I go, yeah. obviously, you know, I've been working with your mum's business. That have is you? Yes, Soul you Food have. Academy. Um, yes. yes. For the past couple of weeks. And today, their website officially went live. Whoop, 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 so whoop, 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 whoop. The website address is, let me get this right. So, it's D. SFA.co.uk, that is Soul Food Academy. And the business will be doing interactive cooking sessions, which is fresh, tasty, and healthy food um, from Caribbean and Jamaican cultures, um, led by head chef Monica Holton, who will be running the first event on the 7th of July in the Trinity in Burton on Trent. Um, she's got loads of pop ups coming up in and around Burton. Uh, stuff like that but yeah the website's gone live today so it's, uh, it's all safe payment gateway and stuff so you can go and buy a ticket you can buy vouchers um we've also got a vegan event which is doing on the uh 30th of july oh, uh, which sounds very interesting because i'm not massively into vegan but the way your mum was saying oh, it lawrence. it sounds incredible called lawrence I Rice know, and peas is vegan, I know. so that's that's that. I know, and I'm not an anti-vegan. No, but I I'm hear just, I'm Some just a lot more food, open yeah. now. To, Lawrence, to there'll be no to tofu there. there. I can oh, guarantee yeah. that. Good. There'll be no tofu. Yeah, or corn. Um, so yeah, you you can go to that now. That website, and you can get all tickets to events. Or Father's Day is coming up, so it'd make a great uh, great present for that as well. But yeah, absolutely. Get in touch. And enjoy. Sounds lovely. Um, yes, guys. The link to that description will be below the video. Um, mm. So check that out. My mum's extremely talented. Bless her. She is. And she will be hearing this. And mum, I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Am I right? Come on. Right. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No, but yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> check that out, guys. Um, good website. Good food. And um, I think that'll about do it, I think. Mm. I'm craving quiche. No, I'm not. Never. I'm enjoying this audio only. Yes. I yes. feel like we're on a radio show. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I know some of you are going to be missing our faces, but you know what we look like. You know what we look you like. You know what we're about. Okay. We're just trying it out. And um, if you miss our faces, just, you know, stalk our social medias. Not yeah. in a weird way. Yeah. Not in a weird way. In a nice way. Maybe. If you want to get a little bit weird. No. <laughs> Just keep it keep it PG. This has been episode 40. I have no idea. 40. I think I said 42 to you really, but I think I was wrong. I think it's 43. I think it is 43. Well, we're going to go with it. <laughs> this has been episode 40. <laughs> For yeah. This is episode 45. <laughs> <laughs> this is episode 40 plus. Uh, yeah. um, we hope you enjoy. Uh, please continue to just like us and share with us and, and, and tell others to subscribe to us because there's no way you're listening to us and you've not subscribed. So tell others yeah. to subscribe to us. Yeah, and um, I don't know. <laughs> Just enjoy the content because that's why we make it for you to enjoy it. No other reason, really. Uh, mm, we no. do like the sound of our own voices. Yeah, it's a little bit self indulgent, but Ooh. the majority of the time we do it for you. So yes, eighty twenty. Appreciate it. Goodbye, Binky Boy.